What is going on everyone? Sean here and welcome to the Hawk Talks episode. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, something that's been going on for a long while now and that is the censorship policies from Sony and uh, which involves with you know pretty much censoring uh, any of the erotic or fan service um, elements that you see in a lot of these um, anime games. Uh, especially the niche ones, you know, games such as Galgun, the Galgun series, and uh, there are there are a number of other games that sort of do that as well. And um, and I know another big one is um, you know Dead or Alive uh, series, uh, especially with the volleyball series. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to go into uh, that sort of subject today. Uh, this all started from uh, the most recent reveal of the newest uh, Galgun game i guess it's called uh, galgun returns right so if you look at this uh, screenshot here uh or tweet it is interesting to see because there is something missing here um from this little graphic here uh the elephant in the room is that the fact that uh, sony is not included in the um the lineup when it comes to what system is coming to there's you know the switch the xbox and uh stream or steam i believe <laughs> excuse me uh, kind of interesting because this is a uh, big time Japanese game, you know, niche, but it's, you know, famous or uh, infamous rather for the uh, anime uh, enthusiasts or fans that, you know, it shows off the uh, the panties and all that stuff, um, the fan service stuff, you know, you name it, um, that you see in a lot of animes today. This is no exception, and of course, um, Sony would probably say a big no on it, or you have to heavily censor the big elements that you see in Galgun, for example. So pretty much the company, I, I forget who developed these games, but they pretty much said no, or hell no rather, and um, they pretty much are gonna, you know, um, have their games on the Switch and even Xbox now. And this is coming from a, a Japanese um, publisher and also a develop, um, developing studio. So. Uh, this could be uh, something big, big in the future, you know, for those who are, you know, into the uh, erotic fan service anime games such as Gal Gun and probably other uh, visual novel games that may come to the PlayStation lineup or whatever other anime game that may come uh, in this upcoming generation. This could mean that we're not going to see a whole lot of that in the PlayStation 5 lineup, so um, I myself don't really care about those sort of games. I don't really, um, you know, go out of my way to buy these games. But uh, we do have, I mean, the Galgun sort of Let's Play that uh, we did back in the day on this channel. But that was like a very um, spontaneous thing. And we um, just thought that it would be funny to um, capture all that since it was, it was like me and a couple other guys watching my friend playing. Um, Gal Gun, and um, there were some laughs to be had. You know, it was funny, and it was something to make fun of, and we had a good time for that. You know, it's something that I guess is worth uh, something to talk about for me because, you know, it's not just Gal Gun. It could be other games in the future um, that could, you know, face those sort of policies, and they may uh, ter um, turn away from that. They, that could mean that the PlayStation 5 library could be a little weaker than the PlayStation 4 lineup. There's a lot of anime games within the PlayStation 4 lineup um, until the whole censorship policy took place. Now, it wasn't like extreme uh, during that time, but I'm pretty sure it will be from here on out because it's going to be starting from the b very beginning of the PlayStation 5 launch. So um, the lineup could be a little shaken up, uh, let's just say. I mean, um, who, uh, who knows what will come out for this lineup, but um, I think point being though, a lot of the more expressive games when it comes to the more, you know, sexual sort of subjects, um, yeah, definitely will take a hit, unfortunately. I mean, there is an, there's always an audience for those games and, you know, I, I'll, I let them be and I don't, I don't judge. <laughs> and, um, and I, you know, I, feel, I find this to be um, kind of dumb because the censorship policies from Sony seem to be inconsistent because a lot of people have brought this up um the fact that one of the biggest games of this year which was um last of us part two had a scene where abby one of the main characters 
um, you know, to partakes in sexual intercourse. Um, there was a big scene on that, and it was quite graphic. You know, um, showing off a lot of the body, let's just say, and the action of um, said intercourse. So um, it was it was pretty graphic to say the least, and that really you know questions a lot of people. Uh, it makes a lot of people question the policies from Sony. Um, why is it that this game gets a pass, and, and in fact, it's like even more graphic than a lot of the anime games. At least anime games, they just like, you know, sh you know, flash the, the underside of the female characters and such, and uh, oh, and you, you know, they're wearing swimming suits or whatever. Um, you know, nothing, um, you know, offensive beyond that. And yet, <laughs> with Abigail and that scene, it's like, what <laughs> you know what i mean i i, I mean i'm i'm kind of surprised that i didn't get kicked um get banned from twitch from just looking at that scene or whatever but like a lot of people who played last of us part two during its release um yeah dude that, it's just like what <laughs> well where do you draw the line like it just makes no sense at least to me anyway so i don't know where they're coming from like this, do they just not like anime games or I don't know. I mean, it. I don't, there's no clear line being drawn here. Is it? You know, it, do they just think that this is art or something? There's this is something like deep. You know, um, did Neil Druckmann pull some strings to let that scene go through? Like, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of questions surrounding that. But um, back to the point, though, games like Galgun and all that stuff will probably see less stuff on the PlayStation uh, lineup from here on out. And we'll likely see them on Steam. That's um, probably where a lot of people will go to um, buy those games anyway. So, um, I, and I think a lot of those people who like those sort of anime games already have a PC to begin with. So, um, but for those who only have a console, are going to, I guess, miss out on those games. But uh, I think the point here is that you know censorship being used in the most in in inconsistent and wrong way. It's always something that's going to um, tick me off, and a lot of people as well. So that's just where I come from. Um, you know, personally, I, like I said, I just don't care about those games. I don't judge people who do like those kind of games. You know, let you know to each their own, I guess. But yeah, you know, I just don't like these sort of policies where it's just inconsistent and just annoying. You know, and that's why you know companies like to develop those certain kind of games for those audiences. I don't blame them for, um, you know, going away from Sony from this point on. I do not blame them at all. And it's just so funny that now they're going to release their game on Xbox of all things because it seems like it's been doing well on the pre-order side of things in Japan. It, in fact, sold out when it comes to the Series S at least. I don't know about the S Series X, which is a big one, but uh, point being though, Xbox just seems like they're going to do better in Japan than before. Um, for some reason and somehow maybe it's because of the the game pass maybe the game pass is very promising um like to a whole lot of people as of late so it seems like this time around i think um like i said before as much as a of a playstation fan i was before um i, I mean i will get a playstation 5 still um i still have my pre-order pre secured during launch week or whatever but i think xbox will win it overall Unless um, Sony comes out with their own sort of uh, subscription service that's really promising. I think if they actually, you know, have the sort of audacity to uh, do so, then yeah, it would be a much of uh, a more even playing field. But right now, it seems just that there's more value in um, the Xbox if you really look between the lines, you know what I mean? Um, the Game Pass lets you access to all the games that they have on their, on their um, lineup uh, for the price of one, you know, for uh, for this much on, um, you know, per, per month, you get to have all, access to all the games, including, you know, the Xbox, Xbox games, but not only that, but the PC games as well. You know, all the games are on Xbox are on PC. That's what I'm trying to say here. And it just seems more of a value there. So in that department, I definitely would like to say that Xbox has that beat, you know? They have that under control. 
it, um, I think they nailed it pretty well so far. Now, granted, it hasn't fully been released just yet for the Series X anyway, just because we're not just there just yet. But, you know, looking from uh, the concept side of things, it definitely is promising. I mean, you know, it's already out for the PC. It's already out for this uh, Xbox One, I think, right? So that, you know, already is very promising, you know, for the fans who have the Xbox. There's just a lot of value to it. There's a lot of value to that. And um, I think these Japanese companies are seeing that gladly. So that's I think that's good. You know, I think that's um, it drives competition. And maybe uh, Sony will perhaps uh, lift up those policies sometime or someday. But I think for the time being, um, it's just one of those things where I think that will won't take that seriously. So I think that the policy will stick around for a long while. Maybe uh, sometime they will um, take it off because um, companies like even Nintendo kind of don't care about that um, at some point. So I think uh, they'll lose the interest of going through the trouble of censoring games. I think uh, maybe hopefully they'll come to their senses and just don't care about those games as long as it doesn't, you know, show off anything graphic, like absolutely graphic violence, you know, unnecessarily graphic um you know sex scenes and such and such um i think we, we can we can uh live without that in our games you know um i definitely did not need to see that in my last of last of us game that <laughs> was something unexpected it could have just left off from the kiss you know what i mean um did not have to go that far um the one with uh i guess with ellie and um dina that was okay. You know, they didn't really show off a whole lot. Um, it, you know, showed off the beginning of it, of course. But they cut uh, cut it right there, which is fine. I, I think that's uh, that's how far this should go. But anyways, uh, before I uh, go rambling on, um, that's pretty much it for this um, little discussion uh, on the Hawk Talks. Uh, the censorship and uh, games like Galgun will probably head over to Steam and all the other systems except for Sony because of this dumb policy. And it's dumb because it's inconsistent, you know. So, like I said, it's 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 just dumb. These these situations are always annoying, and I think um, they need to take a look on this uh, policy. I mean, if they're going to enforce this policy, you you, you better not allow those um, cutscenes like that in the, in the future games. But otherwise, if that continues, it's like what the heck? Like, what is this really getting towards to? Is it uh, is there something? Um, or the MCI or something like is that is there like a personal hate going on with the anime games? I don't know. Maybe someone over there doesn't like anime and they really don't want to, you know, see those games on the the PlayStations and stuff. I don't know. Anyway, uh, if any comments relating to this uh, discussion, leave me down below. Love to check them out. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this um, on this channel. Don't forget to check out all the social media links in the description, uh, including Twitter and Twitch. And yeah, so this has been the Hot Talks episode on the censorship policies from Sony, Yao Gun, and all that stuff. So uh, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Sean out.